MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just here with a quick overview of Machine 2.0. Native Instruments did make it available today instead of tomorrow, so you can go get it. So let's kind of just go over the layout. I just want to make sure you're familiar with the layout. So first thing we want to check out, of course, is the browser. You still got all your categories up here at the top with your samples and your instruments and sounds, groups, and all that stuff. And you can see right now it's actually separated between the user and the Native Instruments. So the Native Instruments content and then the user content is separated. And you'll notice that the actual tags really look like the battery for browser Now you got to drop down where you can go into the specific items or the specific instruments or collections and they got these visual representations same thing with the instruments effects all that stuff so you know pretty cool layout there you got your mixer now of course which a lot of people are excited about which actually shows your little plug-in strips down here so any devices you have loaded you can actually see in the mixer you can keep adding them of course we got unlimited plugins that we can add unlimited effects plugins that you can add different stuff like that so all your groups are going to show up there you can mix from the group level or the sound level stuff like that up here in your header some of the things that change is going to be you can actually enable or disable your metronome right from the software you know a lot of times you want to do that sometimes when your hardware maybe you're just working on your laptop and you don't have your hardware with you you want to work on the the metronome you can do that and then you got your time so you still got bars but if you right click you can change it to time which is cool right here you got your follow where you can actually follow along with your arrangement if you want to and then you still got all your sync settings over here you got your CPU meter and your volume meter then of course you got your arranger where you can just go in and quickly add new groups if you want to pretty cool there down here you got your channel area for your master group and sound you can see all the parameters for that really quickly right here in this area you got your input output groove macro and you can see all your MIDI settings and everything is right there so really easy to configure your stuff right there then you got your plugin area you can just go in and add your plugins right there you see native instruments plugins are separated from everything else which is something I know I wanted for a long time just because I just thought it looked better but you know that's just me then you got your right here you can go in and check out your automation and everything I don't have anything actually loaded but if I did you can see you got all your automation parameters and you can go in and do MIDI learn and all that stuff so then you got your group area you still got your regular group layout you also got your pad mode or your keyboard mode and you can also say you want to look at it as pads you can do that and you got your key settings for the different pads your choke groups and your link groups and stuff so you know just something cool right there then of course you got your sample area so a lot of this stuff is kind of in the same place it just looks a little bit different and definitely been some enhancements in different situations you got your pattern manager right here so these represent your patterns you can go in move them around name them all that different stuff there so again just a really quick and general overview of the machine software you guys know we're going to go deeper into the different sections and all that different stuff but just want to kind of get you up to speed really quickly on some things of course if you got any questions let me know but again mainly just a general overview of the software and what it looks like of course you can still go in and resize things as you need to so you know just just overall cool I think things have a little bit more of um, it's just like a fresh feel to it the way things look even like with your edit you got your different buttons down here your edit bar and all that stuff so I'm just just nice and crisp so yeah let me know if you got any questions this is St. Joe MachineTutorials.com with just a really basic overview of the machine 2.0 software again you know we're gonna get deeper in that so keep it locked to MachineTutorials.com peace